This is a really exciting day for me and I'm going to tell you why in a second. So um, in my free time, basically the activities I do are all indoors, painting, crafting, all types of crafting, making jewelry, pottery and um, uh, crocheting is something that I've always uh, tried doing. I try knitting, but I don't think knitting was for me. So I've always wanted to make these really cute, like, plushies things um, called amigurumi. And obviously you need to crochet to make them. And I've tried crocheting before and it's something I really enjoy, but I never actually made anything with it. Um, and I didn't really quite learn how to do anything and how to do it properly. So I'm a complete beginner, right? But today I have this which is an Amazon package um, and inside is a crocheting set uh, to make these really nice cute uh, sunflowers and, and plants in, in like the, 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 the pot, uh, potted plants and I'm really excited because it comes with instruction, it comes with all the materials which means that if I follow the guides, hopefully, finger crossed, I can actually make something and succeed at learning a new skill and I want to bring you with me on this journey because I've always wanted to make like videos about things that I learn because I always learn something new and today is that day especially because my friend really wanted to see this progress um hi Dani and um she'll, she'll be watching at some point um so inside this box I have this and this is the set with all the yarn and the hook and the stuffing and everything. So this is unopened. I am opening this with you right now. You can really tell my excitement because of my voice and my face. I can't wait to start doing this. Okay, so in this package we have some stuffing and we have, let me try to get everything from here, it's well packaged. So here we have the yard, we have brown, light brown, dark brown, yellow, we have green and two whites. And then, what else we have here? So, we have the instructions with step-by-step -step on how to do things. And I am bad at following instructions and routines and anything written um, and planned. So, I really hope I can do this because usually what I do even when I paint is I start following something, um, a picture or a tutorial, and then I end up with something completely different because somewhere along the, pro the, the process, I just decide to do my own thing. So hopefully I can follow this. We have here, those are the flowers that I hope to make, especially the sunflowers right here. So we have these books and then here, we have the hook and the needle and there's no needle or at least I don't see one. Oh yeah, there is the needle. It was on the other side. So we have the hook, the needle and something else that I don't know what it is. And then we have this, which are the, the markers to know which rows we start at. So I've watched some tutorials online, so at least I know what these things are. Um, but I'm a complete beginner. I've been talking for almost five minutes. Um, now, I don't know how long this video is going to turn out, but I'm going to show you most of the process of me working and the progress of me making those um, plants. I am really excited, so let's just start and jump to the exciting part. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this and see you! So I followed the tutorial, actually it has like um, 
like a QR code that you can scan with your phone and you actually get like videos as well as the written tutorial. So the video was actually very helpful. Um, the lady explaining is Chinese, so maybe this uh, kit comes from China, but it was actually very helpful. And I've always had um, trouble every time I tried to get this magic ring, which is basically like a circle from that you start from. And I managed to do it. So following along, I got this super tiny ring circle thingy. And now I actually have the instructions here. And there is a video for each one of those um, um, rows so that's very helpful um, and, and not necessarily rows but stitches so you can actually learn how to read these instructions um, and yeah so I actually managed to do something and I will update you on the progress so I did the other uh, round as well I got to round four and it got bigger there are 13 rounds so I still have lots to go but it got bigger and it looked nice, um, so I am happy. I still followed along and I got a bit further. So now I have this little start of a pot. It's really cute, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But I'm still very happy, even though it comes out like this. To be honest, I'm not sure if it's small like this because I did it too tight or just because the yarn is really um, thin. But I'm quite happy regardless and I'm looking forward to making more of it. Hi everybody, it's a new day. You can see by my outfit I have changed and I have this kind of hair here that says my charm for today because I don't know where it came from. And yesterday night I kept working and I got up to this point. I don't think at this point it stays, like it stands, because if I put it like this, it's like you can see that it's not flat. The bottom is not flat, it's kind of round. Um, I think this was my mistake because I am not good at this yet, so I work really tightly with the thread and everything, with the yarn, and I think I also managed to not follow instructions, just as I said yesterday. I'm not good at following instructions, and it's coming along, and I'm really happy, and I love this. I really, I really love it, um, but I think right now I'm doing my own thing, because I failed at uh, counting the rows, so it's it's supposed to to have this size it's not supposed to be bigger but i don't know how much taller i need to get so i think i'm going to do two more rows of this and i will update you um again So I think this is going to be my last row, but as you can see, it somehow manages to stand and because it's soft and it's made of yarn, obviously you can press it and mold it as you need. So it does stand, so that's good. Big news, I finished the pot. It's not perfect, but I am very happy of how it turned out. Look, it's a bit wobbly and it's not even, but I made this. The fact that I managed to make this following instructions, it's amazing. I also, um, because in the instructions it said like to fasten off and to weave the ends and I didn't know what that me meant and how to do it. So I had to look online for how to do that part, but I managed and I love it. It's very small and it's wobbly, but I don't care because it's amazing and I made it. 
And regardless of how this entire project will end, um, I, I think it's a success because by buying it, I learned how to do most stitches. And I also learned how to read a pattern, which means that now I can get any pattern online and know what they mean and how to do them. And I can probably make about anything. Uh, after this, after my first project, I can definitely improve this and I can make another one. I'm sure it will come off so much better, but this is my first one and it's cute and it looks like a hat. In fact, look, it's so adorable. I love it. I love making things and learn how to make things and this is adorable and I love it. Okay, so I also made the soil part, so this is going to come on top of this. I already put some of the, how do you call this, filling, um, some of the filling inside and then basically this comes like this on top and this is the soil of the pot. Um, I can't sew it right now because I still need to have the flower and uh, assemble it all together. But I already made this much and it looks really cute, even though it looks really wobbly at the same time because it's not really straight. But I would say it's a progress, especially because this came out so much better than this. You can definitely see the difference. So I would say it's going well. I am having trouble with the leaf. Let me show you. So I'm following this, right? But there's so much going on here. And I got lost. And this is what I got. And it doesn't look like this leaf here. Hey everybody, today I don't feel well. So there's not going to be any crochet. Um... I've worked on the project for two days in a row now and my fingers hurt. I know they are not supposed to hurt, but I was holding everything really tightly. Anyway, I'm not going to work on it today. I'm going to take a break. I have the leaves, two leaves. Uh, I made another one and um, I used a different um, a strategy. I didn't follow the, the pattern. So I made the leaves, the center of the flower, um, and the pots. I have started to make the back of the flower. And I hope it's going to come out well. Um, yeah, I'm going to be working tonight and between this and hopefully the petals of the flower. So I got the green back that's supposed to be at the back of the flower. But so now I have to put back to back this bit, the green bit, bit and the flower core, which is the brown bit that I've already made and go with the stitches through both layers and then follow this. But this looks complicated. I think I've seen a YouTube tutorial on how to do this and seeing that I think it's cl more clear to me than just reading this in the same stitch because... Um, this looks complicated to me. I am happy because I found a tutorial. Um, I couldn't figure out the what is written here. So I looked online for a tutorial on how to make sunflower petals. And I found a lady that explains very well. I'm going to put her link in the description. Um, it was very easy to follow, very slowly. I put it on half the speed and I made this. It's probably not perfect. Like you can see that some of the petals are a bit wobbly like this. Like what is this? What is this? It was supposed to be like this. But hey, it's still cute and it's still a sunflower and it, I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. Um, it's also uh, linked through the green bit. So this is the green bit at the end of, at, at the back of the flower. And here the stem is going to come um, and attach my wobbly 
wobbly leaves uh, but I'm happy something is coming coming along um, you can see I even have some kind of yarn here that's not it's like kind of out out there in the world um, but yeah I am managing to do something you won't believe this but I finished so by the end of the um, the flower I actually learned how to do it myself without even watching the video or reading the pattern I just learned the steps and the stitches and it's not perfect but it's pretty cute I would say and it looks like a sunflower it looks like a wobbly sunflower but hey you know wobbly owner wobbly sunflower so i would call this a success avengers assemble Welcome to the end of my video where I actually tell you whether I succeeded making this project or not and um, spoiler alert I have here is my little little sunflower um, uh, that stands um, on his own you can see the details it's all made by me I have succeeded in making my first ever crochet um, uh, pattern and um, and project and I think it came out super cute and I love it maybe it's a bit wobbly but from this uh, project and this kit I learned most of the stitches um, the most common stitches I learned how to sew how to weave in I learned how to um, to do the magic circle, um, double crochet, single crochet, chain, uh, slip knot, um, also triple crochet and half double crochet. I learned so much um, and I'm really, really, really proud of myself. And um, I couldn't record straight away and show you that I finished this. So in the meantime, I have done some lots of other things. I've made lots of other flowers, three types, two of each because I'm going to use those as earrings um, so I made a sunflower with two colors in the middle and I made a normal sunflower and I've also made two of this um, I've made all those flowers and I love them I couldn't stop making them I've also made a coaster for my cup this is some yarn I found at home that my mom bought a long time ago. This is for knitting, so it's it looks very fluffy and I don't know how to call it. Um, it's, it's not the best, but I'm going to use it as a yarn and I really like um, working with two colors. And I've also made this. This is going to be a headband. Um, I'm going to put elastic through it and then sew it together. Um, so I've made this as well. I've made all those things because I couldn't stop doing things. I love um, this activity. It helps me with stress. It helps me with concentration. It helps me because it gives me busy, it gives me joy and it gives me satisfaction. So this is the end of my video. Thank you for watching and I definitely recommend trying one of those kits because it comes with everything you need, it comes with instruction. So I would say as um, the first ever project, if you've never uh, done crochet before, those are perfect. So this is it. Um, I'm going to start and to do a lot more uh, project like this in the future. I love them and thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!